Hello everyone, this is Michael from Power Playground. This is a uh, long-awaited video. Haven't done a video in ages, but I kind of want to go through my process of figuring out if you have enough filament to do a certain print. Now there's a couple ways of figuring this out, but uh, I'm going to show you all my method of doing this. But um, yeah, just first off, I want to show off the new print enclosure. A little messy right now because I've been banging out a lot of print jobs. The uh, new printers I have here. I'm going to go over a full video here shortly. I'm actually about to do another major upgrade. I'm going to test out a major upgrade involving a uh, Titan Arrow as well as a BL Touch or a Smart Touch. One of those uh, Chinese off-brand ones. Just to uh, test the water, see if it's worthwhile uh, implementing into my... Uh, daily use printers but I digress let's get to the subject matter of the video and of course um, this is a new place I am in here I'm not going to show the rest of, the, the, of my uh, setup just because it's a hot mess right now still getting stuff unpacked as you can see this school of filament it's pretty low now I have a pretty decent like print job I have to do here to finish off this spool now, I don't want to of course go through this job because this is going to be about five six hours I don't want to waste this filament that I have here if I know for sure. If I don't know if uh, it's going to, you know, stop mid-print just because I run out of filament. So, I also, this one, I was right on the razor's edge. So, I don't really, I mean, this is fine just because I don't have to waste a lot of filament. But still, oof, that was close. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unload this spool from the printer. I'm going to unload this one. Because what I want to do is I want to essentially weigh the empty spool against the uh, almost empty spool. Just to see how much of a comparison is. So I'm going to de-spool the rest of this and uh, use this as an uh, example here on my potion scale. Alright folks, so we've got our scale here. This is just a basic post scale. I have it set in grams. Now what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to set down the empty spool. And record that. It's a little bit, it weighs a little less than our um, than the hatchbox spools. Those are around 300 grams, give or take. So 248 grams, give or take. Um, these scales aren't like the most accurate, but they're pretty cl they're close enough for what I need. Now this is my other thing. Now these are Amazon basic spools, like I said. Pretty decent filament, gotta say. Uh, highly recommend it if you're looking for cheap filament that is will give you consistent results because I've been using Hatchbox, E-Sun, those are really good. Um, some E-Sun's uh, spools I've had issues like some of their ABS, but um, overall their PTG is pretty good. But this stuff, the Amazon stuff, you cannot beat, especially if you can get on sale or one of the combo packs. So uh, that's 384. Okay, so I went ahead and calculated the amount of material that um, I have left on the spool, and it's about 136 grams worth. It doesn't seem like a lot, but this is my print. Uh, I already, I'm printing duplicates of this particular print job, which is just these six bins, so that will be about 84 grams. Now, say if you're printing something for the first time or you don't really uh, have something on hand to reference it physically, you can hop on over to your favorite slicer and uh, in this case, a Simplify 3D. Sorry for the uh, jury rigged um, can't for iPhone filming the screen. I know it probably doesn't look the best, but you can see clearly that uh, it's 88.52 grams for the plastic weight. A lot of slicers will do it. Uh, if it doesn't, you can sometimes you can pull it up in like a G code analyzer. I think it's like G code.ws. I'm not 100% on that URL. I'll put it in the description. I'll find it later when I edit this video and throw it together. But uh, yeah, you can. You can find it out. It's usually pretty good. It looks like that's uh, four grams more than what the scale says. So I would probably, the slicer is probably going to be a good bet for you there. That's pretty much it, folks. So I'm going to go ahead and get this print job started up here. Got to get this uh, finished out before um, I get some more jobs. So I just hope you all like this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button and um, hit subscribe we're gonna have some more videos here real soon once i get uh, everything taken care of in my house um, or my new place taken or all unpacked and sorted out and have a great day